AccuQuilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Hey, thanks so much for joining us today on this beautiful Wednesday. My good friend Christine is in the house. How are you, my friend? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. I'm getting ready for our long weekend. Yes. Do you have plans for Easter? Um, we're just going to go to Tim's aunt's house and just stuff ourselves with candy and ham and take a nap all day. Twice baked potatoes. Yes. Yeah, Cheesy potatoes. That's what we live for. Deviled eggs. Strawberry shortcake at our house is all the dessert. It. Yeah, all the good things. <laughs> we should always start on a good note. Oh, good, good. Um, and anything new and exciting happening? Um, it's Tim's birthday today. Happy birthday <laughs> to our good friend, Tim. <laughs> so many birthdays here. So yes. yesterday was my brother Dean's birthday. So happy birthday, Dean. And tomorrow is my sister-in-law, his wife's birthday. So happy birthday, Kathleen. But biggest news, our good friend Joyce, who works here at AccuQuilt, she's a new granddaughter. Yeah, Did does. you see those sweet pictures so of her? Cute. Big, chunky cheeks. Her name is Briar. Mm. So truly happy birthday to Briar yesterday. <laughs> the rest of us, we're just all celebrating. Okay, so where's everybody watching from today? <gasps> Jenny is watching from London in the UK. Okay, listen, did you hear about this? There is the Great British Sewing Bee. Uh, if it's anything like the Great British Bake Off, I'm, I'm down. I'm down, <laughs> right? They're just so wholesome. They happy. are, they are. <laughs> so we kind of did a little reading, right? It's just a kind of a little competition. Yeah, where they get like different challenges. And yes. I'm not sure what they're going to have to sew, but yes. I'll watch. I'll, I'll watch. I'm down for that. How many of you think AccuQuilt should start a sewing bee? Raise your hand. Ooh. All of those people. Look at us. <laughs> All right. So here is my photo of the day. Um, okay. I know it's not Christmas, but this is a sweet photo. Um, so this is my stepmother, Kitty, and um, Santa Claus, otherwise known as my dad. <laughs> um, when Mason <laughs> saw this picture, um, when he was tiny little, he is like, does Papa know that at that grandma kitty's kissing Santa. And I said, I think he does. I think he's okay with it. Okay. <laughs> um, so here is the question of the day and we'll talk about more why this is question of the day in just a minute. So what is your fondest memory of either your mother or your grandmother, maybe your grandfather or your father? Um, and it could be funny things. So mm -hmm. Christine, you have a funny memory. I we always, so whenever my brother, I would ask like which grandmother's house we're going to, my, it would always be like my grandma B or chicken grandma, <laughs> chicken which was my grandma? mother's mom. Cause she had so many chickens, so many chickens. <laughs> so many. It's like chicken Brian who yes. lives next door to us. <laughs> okay. So in the comment section today, share your memories. Um, we would love to. All right. Uh, we'll talk about them in just a minute. Now, did you love our projects in our intro video? There were some really fun ones in there. Be sure and share your finished projects for a chance to be uh, part of our AccuQuilt Live events. Christina, how can they share with them? How can they share? How can they share their projects with us? Oh, they can always um, send us a Facebook message. They can post it on our Facebook wall, whatever they want. Whatever, we'll find them. Super easy to get a hold of us. Yep, okay. So let's take a look at some of the awesome projects. First of all, Carol M. She used our Go Orange Peel die, which is the die I'm going to showcase next week yes. on um, AccuQuilt Live, to make snowballs. Look at how cute those are. Okay, I'm going to have a week to figure <laughs> out how to make snowballs. I feel like it's not that hard, but I do like the faces. Christina, do you have a favorite face? Um, I like the glasses on the left corner with the kind of like screwed up smiley face. Yes. Because I feel I like that's me. <laughs> Red glasses and, and all. I feel like the center row all the way to the right, the guy who's crying, oh, that's yes. me most of the days. <laughs> it's like, what? So good job. All right, next up we have Emily A. Okay, and she totally made this super cute St. Patrick's Day quilt. And the thing I love most about this one, Christina, is that it's all scrappy. Yes. Right? Definitely. There wasn't, it's not just all green. Good job, Emily. And finally, Patty H made, okay, this super cute Celtic, a uh, Celtic, not Celtic, Celtic gnome quilt. Okay, here in Omaha, we have this great quilt store called the Celtic Quilter. They should totally be making this. But look how cute that is, those gnomes for St. Patrick's love them. Day. They were really fun. Okay, all right. And speaking of gnomes, look at what the lovely Erica made. <laughs> I <laughs> so love cute. it. Uh, it's for Easter. So today we'll talk about what our special is, um, but you sh totally should be getting the gnome dye and then spring medley yes. to make these cute little gnomes in a basket. Yes, I love Because that this. gnome is good for any season, any it holiday, is. any season. It is. It is. And like 4th of July gnomes, mm -hmm. I feel like they could be there, all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, because you're our AccuQuote Life family, we have a special offer for you today. All right. 
if you buy two go dyes, cubes, or accessories, you get to take 25% off those dyes and everything else in your cart. Correct. So if you buy any two of the qualifying, like dyes, cubes, anything, the rest of the cart of those, like any other dyes you buy, will be 25% off. Which is a great deal. Yes. So we'll start out by throwing your gnome dye and the Easter, the spring medley mm -hmm. in there. So, the so spring, you can make gnomes in Easter baskets. Yes. The spring medley would only be $37 and the gnome would be $26. Oh, gnomes for days, mm -hmm. okay? So you need to use the code LIVE25, L-I-V-E-2-5. All right, that's our promo today. We're super excited about it. Okay, now, today we're gonna give away our uh, Go Coffee and Tea medley die to one lucky viewer. For a chance to win our die, all you have to do is share this video in your personal Facebook page. And Christina's gonna announce the winner at the end mm -hmm. of the show. And in a minute, we'll talk about why we chose this die. Cause this is really fun. Have you made anything yet with it, Christina? I haven't. Did you design the packaging for I this? I did. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Christina, not only does she hang out with us on Wednesdays, but she's actually a graphic designer, yeah. right? By trade. <laughs> yes. That's what it says behind your name yep. here at AccuCult. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, um, the reason we, I showed you that sweet picture of my grandma, or my uh, stepmother Kitty, is uh, she died right at the very beginning of COVID. And then just two months later, I lost my mom. So for many of us, uh, COVID has been a time of loss. So we want to spend today thinking of some ways to make some really sweet projects that will remind us of the good times and the funny times and the really great memories we have of those that we might have lost during COVID, okay? So the block we're gonna make today is called uh, Grandmother's China. So look at how fun this block is, all right? Uh, my stepmother Kitty, she loved China, and she had lots of different kinds of China, but the one that I remember the most was this blue and white kind of wedgewood pattern. Mm -hmm. It was so fun. So I was going through my stash. I know you find that hard to believe. Um, I was going through my stash, and I found some really fun upholstery fabric that reminded me of that flowered china pattern. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is one of my all-time favorite blocks, square and a square. Okay, so here's the fabric that I found, the upholstery fabric. So I'm gonna make this super um, fun little uh, square and square. And in the center, Christina, what dye did we use? The coffee and tea medley. Coffee and tea medley, because it's um, little teacups and it's saucers. it's new and it's cute. I know, I really love it. And it just fits perfectly right there. I know, isn't it fun? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna work on that today. Next, our next live event, join us on Tuesday, April 6th, 12 noon central time. It is our invitation event. We're gonna party like a flock star. <laughs> Have so many people been guessing what the new die is? I don't know, I haven't seen. I don't know, I try not to read this. Chris, th we all know, <laughs> we are not telling. I went to a quote retreat this weekend and um, that was like the question everybody asked me. I bet. They're like, did you bring the new die? No. No, I didn't. I but like my job. I don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> I like my job. I'd like to see it. So it's an invitation event, and it's an exclusive online only. You'll only be able to get it online from AccuCult.com, and it's part of our die to try, meaning I'm dying to try this mm -hmm. die, get it in my um, little collection of dies, and it's only available for a limited time. The registration link is in the comments section, right? Christina, why yes. do they want to register? So that you can be eligible to win prizes. That's how we pick our winners is through yes. those email addresses. Yes. So for those Tuesday events, you want to register because we give stuff away. All We're the giving time. away dyes and fabric and such fun things. And starting in April, which is tomorrow, it's not an April Fool's joke, uh, we are going to have weekly Tuesday invitation events. So starting next week, we're going to have Tuesday and then I'll be here on Wednesdays. And you want to sign up for all those events in April because we have some amazing things happening, mm -hmm. right? We're just going to be so excited. There's so many fun events happening. Yep. Okay. So let's get started. So before we get started, are people sharing their memories of their moms yes. and grandmas and fun things? Yes. Susan says that Granny and I, she remembers Granny. her and her grandmother sitting on the porch, on, excuse me, sitting on the porch swing, and she was sewing a little purse made of green leaves that she had picked up. Oh my gosh, that so is cute. the sweetest memory. Aletta says uh, sewing a marble bag with her grandma and making cookies with her other grandma. There we go. Love there that. we go. I feel like Oakley's going to be able to say that about me, right? Oh yes. We sewed and made cookies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
So today I'm gonna use my 12 inch cube. Oh, here we go. We don't often use the 12 inch cube. Mm -mm. It's um, a big one. Uh, it is, and it's one actually that I really like because I like big blocks, okay? All right, gotta turn my phone off. It's telling me that my battery is low and we don't care. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna use my 12 inch cube because I want my block to finish at 12 inches, okay? And then today, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to make this square and a square block, and guess what we get to do? Chain piece for days. It's my favorite thing to do. And um, square and square, have you ever made that pattern square and square? Oh, it's super easy. Yeah, I love the on point block, so I might have to do that one. Yeah, these just square and a square. And then you could put four of them. I'm going to put four of them together um, and make a table runner and put it on my table on oh, Mother's Day. There we go. Yeah, so that will be fun. All right, now, since I'm using the 12 inch cube, I can either use the Go, the Go Big, or our studio cutter with the appropriate adapter. Today I'm gonna use my Go Big, how come, Christina? Because we can. Because we can. Okay, so I'm gonna open up all the pieces here in the Go Big. We'll start with the big ones first. Oh. All right, hang on here. Um, in the center, the skinny one, it's gonna have a mat and a pattern book. Oh, we need a mat. Look at us. And it's a new mat, Christina. The best. Holy smokes, those are the best. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this back in here and grab my dies. We'll talk about the shapes in the cube. Okay. Ooh, this Autumn over says here. one of her fondest memories is snapping green beans with her grandma Pearl. I love that. <laughs> Have you snapped green beans ever? Yeah. 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 Between that, that is and, a child job. Yeah. That and husking corn was like the big yeah. thing the kids would do. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. And hulling strawberries. Oh, okay. That was a job, but I didn't do that very often because I would just eat them. Yeah, yep. yeah. That's easy to do. <laughs> let's be honest. Okay, so let's open up our cube. Chelsea, shall I open it up towards you? Okay, so remember the cube system is based on a four patch system. So shape number one in every cube is a square. Mm -hmm. Four of these sewn together would equal a 12 inch block. Okay, quilters don't think, oh, I'm getting the 12 inch cube, it's gonna cut 12 inch squares. No, that's not true, okay? They gotta, there's some sewing involved. All right, now next, okay, this is not in numerical order. I uh, know, it's just to change things up on a Wednesday. Next is shape three. Christina, what shape is shape three? Half square triangle. Half square triangle is my all time favorite shape. And what's super cool about our half square triangles? We've cut off those dog ears, yes, right? thank goodness. Yep, and then we have from here to here a perfect quarter inch seam. So I'm gonna need shape number three, so I'm gonna leave it out. Shape number four, had to look, make sure it was right, are what kind of triangles, Christina? Quarter square triangles. Quarter square triangles. Just like the half square triangles, we've cut off the dog ears. Now there are four, there's blades here and here, four on the die board. I'm gonna need this shape. All right, and a huge shout out to Leslie who made sure all of the cubes in the Dream Studio now have like all the dies that they're supposed to. <laughs> Weird. Okay, let's open up the little one next. Okay. All right, so next we have shape number two, which are smaller squares. So in every cube, how can I help you there, Chelsea? There we go. In every cube, there's big squares and little squares. Shape number five, Christina, do you know what I call this die? The workhorse. The workhorse. This is shape number five. It is half square triangles, and we need that one today. And next we have shape number six. This is that square on point, right? Mm -hmm. So it's meant to live on its tippy toes, right? Yes. And what's the shape we need to go around it to make a square? The half square triangles. Yep, shape number five, and we need this one, okay? So this is how you build with cubes. Like, it's like a quilt by number system. It's just fabulous. Okay, shape number seven in every cube are parallelograms, because Joe woke up this morning and said, gosh, I hope there's a parallelogram in the cube. So Joe, just for you, okay? We don't need that today. And then shape number eight, Christina, do you know? Shape number eight is a rectangle, right? Rectangle, good job. Thank you. We have talked about cubes so much recently, <laughs> haven't we? Okay, all right, so I don't need that shape either. And look, a 
and each um, pocket, there's a pattern, and it's kind of that quote by number system, right? So if I wanted to make this block, I would just need shapes five, six, and seven, and then it tells me how many of each shape to cut and the yardage I need to make one block. So easy. How, how can we only tell them one block? Because we don't know what they're gonna make. We don't. Are you making a table runner? Are you making a mix and match quilt? Okay. And then here's foreign to all quilters. Sewing directions. <laughs> okay, what is it about us? We're just like, oh my goodness. Okay, so that's included in every cube. Now the shapes in every cube are the same shapes. They're just different sizes. All right, oh, I'm gonna open up my Go Big. I'm gonna move my drink. All right, Christina, while I'm getting my um, machine set up, tell us some um, memories. Let's see, Gerald says having tea on his way home from school with grandma, cookies and goodies. That is so fun. I love that. <laughs> that um, is so fun. Isla says that my grandma would pick strawberries with me, but not many would make it to the house. Yeah, see, there we, we go. could have lived in the same house. Excellent. All right. Um, Kitty was a great pie maker. Mm -hmm. And um, every year, like, we just had tons and tons of pie. And one year, um, she made Taylor um, a pecan pie because that was his favorite. And instead of sugar, she used salt. Oh, no. I know. It was very sad. <laughs> so after that, Taylor was a little leery every time she <laughs> made pie. It was like, oh. We would always joke that my grandmother made incredible pies as well, but she could not make chocolate chip cookies to save her life. Do you know that forever I couldn't make chocolate chip cookies? <laughs> so funny. I know. <laughs> now I make them all the time. I know. Okay, so we're going to start with our block. All right, so here I'm going to hold this up, Chelsea. Okay, so shape number six is our center block. All right, and what shape is it? Which one? It's shape number six, our square and point. Yes, good Lord. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many numbers, I forget. There are. Okay, <laughs> so what I'm going to do, quilters, is I'm going to measure from here to here, and I'm just going to rough cut with the fabric. All right, because I'm going to add a quarter of an inch on either side and rough cut with the fabric. Because when you use our dies, you want that lengthwise grain to go through the cutter, mm -hmm. okay? So um, I've already pre-cut my fabric because sometimes I am on the ball. Now I need two of these because I'm going to make two blocks today. But Christina, how many layers of cotton can we do? Six. Six, okay. So I have two layers here and I have my six by six cutting mat. Now, the reason I want to show you this is because some of you are already nervous that I have a little tail of fabric. Don't be scared of this tail. How come, Christina? It, there's no blades in the there's cutter. There's no blades inside, okay? It'll just pass right through. Yep, the blades are in the die. And I could run two of our smaller dies through in one pass. Oh, okay. Mary Ann says that her grandpa once used tartar sauce instead of cream in a key lime pie. Instead of cream of tartar, they use tartar sauce. <laughs> ooh, that kind of makes my mouth. Just that like, makes my mouth go ooh. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> See, I love all of these memories. Okay, my mom was not a very good cook. She had like six things she could make really sure. well, you know, kind of thing. But she cooked me a hot breakfast every day of mm. my life. Like when I went away to college and I would come home, she would always get up and cook me hot breakfast, which was great. And I don't like oatmeal. Ugh. Nope. Ugh. The texture. So it was like eggs and toast yes. and pancakes and there good you stuff. Go. Okay, so here is my um, square and a square. I just needed two of them. All right, so what's the shape we need on the outside here, quilters? Shape number five, half square triangles. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. Here's shape number five. I'm going to measure from here to here, and I got to look at my thing to make sure I cut the right color. Okay, so now I need eight of them which is gonna cause a little bit of a dilemma. Why, Christina? Oh, because we don't need that many, do we? Well, we need eight, because we need four around it, but how many layers can I cut? Oh, of the, just the regular fabric, six. Six, but you need okay. eight, I get you. And there's two on a die board. So four. Oh, I can do this, look at us. Just four layers, This right? is why we should all sew together, because yeah. we know that. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so I just need four layers. I'm gonna put on my cutting mat. Okay, and we're gonna cut, and then I'm gonna show you how to sew them. Okay, we're gonna go this way. All right, tell us their memories. I'm Let's loving see. this. Barbara says, my mom taught me how to sew, and some of my best memories with mom were taking quilting classes and working on them together. 
Oh, fun. She said, neither of us were very good at it, but it was so much fun. <laughs> I'm all about the neither of us were very good at it, right. right? I mean, that's the whole point, right? Is that you just do it together. Okay, so now, half square triangles. Half square triangles. Okay. Oh, there's a really lovely comment from Bonnie. It's a little longer. Okay, hi, Bonnie. She says, um, although my mother is no longer with us, she left me with a lifetime of memories. Um, she could make anything out of what seemed like nothing with seven children and no car or expandable income. She would make her own patterns and use old clothing for fabrics. Um, in her that later is. days, we discovered AccuQuilt and she was sold. She loved assembly line sewing and has left me with hundreds of quilt blocks. Yay! Um, my, she says her daughter and her are sewing them into quilts to surprise family members. Oh, okay, it's not a surprise anymore if they're watching. But <laughs> gosh, that is a beautiful story. I love that. I love that. Just a mix of random quilt blocks that she made and then turn it into a big quilt. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. That just makes me happy. All right, so here we go, quilters. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. So we're gonna start here on one side and we're gonna sew from corner to corner. Now, some of you are already stressed because see these little tips of white? It's okay, quarter to, corner to corner is a perfect quarter inch seam. And since I have two of them, I can chain piece, okay? So thank you for my shoe, here's my shoe. This, I have the other one on my other foot. <laughs> um, Vivian made these for me. Because, okay, we turn on the air conditioning in here. All the people back here are wearing coats, okay? But it's okay. We have to have it like that because otherwise it gets too hot in the dream studio. Okay, so look at this. Here we go. We're going to just chain piece. So I'm going to do one side, and then I'm going to do the other, okay? All right, Christina, talk about some things that are on sale right now with our discount of Ooh. buy to get some stuff off. Yes, so that cube that we're using is on sale. Yes. So if you wanted to get, say, the 12-inch cube and then the companion set angles, okay. the 12-inch cube would only be 210, and the angles would be 127. Oh, my gosh. Yes. That's a great price on and cubes. if you wanted all three, if you wanted the 12-inch cube, the corners, and the angles, it would Which be... Which you should get. Yes, it would be 465. Oh, my gosh. That's it. That's it. Just put them in your put them in your cart. Yes. Okay. So see how I'm just chain piecing here, quilters. It is my favorite thing to do. It is so much faster. Okay. Oh, there's a question from Deborah. Okay. Hi, Deborah. She says, when you have excess fabric, does it have to go beside the die, or can it just follow behind? Well, you want to make sure it's lengthwise yes. green. So, so it typically, depends. it's going to go side. Either are okay, but you just have yes. to follow your lengthwise grain. Yeah, you want to make sure you have that lengthwise grain. Never put it on top because you've already have six layers. <laughs> and so then the machine gets all cranky at you. Even our go big sometimes gets cranky. Okay. All right, Christina, are people having sweet memories? Yes. Um, Christina says that her mom was a big Halloween fan, just like you. Um, <gasps> yes. She made all of her costumes. So she was a pumpkin in kindergarten. She made her costume when she was playing one of Harry the Eighth's wives. <laughs> oh, Harry the so fun. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. I love that. I am not a big costume sewer. No. I did, like, when Taylor was tiny little, I made this dinosaur um, costume, and then I just wanted to make quilts. <laughs> I'm serious. It was just like, this is so much work. The lovely Erica, she came from that background of making um, garments, yeah. Yeah, clothing. Okay, so Chelsea, I'm, she's all over it here. Look at this. Okay, hey, our wool pressing mat and our clover irons, they're now part of the AccuQuilt website. They're not included in the sale today, but listen, throw some in your cart. Yep, it's worth it. It's worth it because you can just sit and press. I, when I was at the quilt retreat this weekend, this is what I used. Okay, so look what I'm doing, quilters. Screaming hot iron. I'm going to press it away. Okay. Press it away. Look at this. Okay, and then I'm going to do the other side. So I'm just going to keep chain piece in here. You could make this whole thing in like an hour if you didn't have to talk on AccuQuilt Live. <laughs> All right, you could totally make it. I made, okay, 12 minutes I timed it to cut my pieces and sew them together to make my block. Okay. 
at the quilt retreat this weekend, we stayed up way past my bedtime. <laughs> and I, everybody was kind of punchy about that. It was kind of fun. And then I was always the first one to go to bed, but that's okay. All right, here we go. We're just pressing our seams away from the block. All right. Okay. All right. Now, quilters ask me all the time, is AccuQuilt really better than a rotary cutter? Okay, first of all, in my quilting head, I wouldn't even know how to cut a square on point because there is math involved. No, no way. Serious math, not just like grocery store math, like real diameter and hypotenuse math. And half square triangles. Christina has never done this. She's never cut with anything but her dies because she's brilliant. <laughs> um, but half square triangles, you have to cut a strip, and then you have to cut a square, and then you have to cut a diagonal. Oh, no and way. then you cut them and sew them and trim them. And I'd cut a finger off. Oh, in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Speaking of that cutter, um, Lisa in our comments says, I'm about to purchase a Go Big in the next 19 minutes. Yay, Lisa. You, okay, Lisa, tell she, us when you do it because we're going to clap. She wants to know if you can talk a little bit more about the machine. Uh, yes. Give me 10 seconds it's here. It's perfect. It's so fast. It's perfect. It's, it's so the safe. machine I use every single day. Okay. So hold on here. Oh, hang on. Okay, so the cool thing about this cutter is that there are um, seven dies built just for the go big, so they're bigger dies. Mm -hmm. um, they are snail's trail, double wedding ring, churn dash, a 10 inch uh, square circles, and the go big crazy quilt, mm -hmm. and the go big bowl cozy. So if you're making like more than six quilts a year, if you're doing charity quilts, maybe you have some physical limitations, mm -hmm. um, this is the cutter for you, but look, you could run two dies through yes. in one pass of our smaller dies. So if one die is 90% faster, two is exponentially. Yes. Here's the thing you need to remember at the end of the day, look, turn it off. That's it. Just push the green button, turn it off. And I, told, I taught everybody this, ready? Oh, it's magnetic. There's a magnet <laughs> right there. Okay, so you could hold your scissors there. Why is there a magnet there, Christina, do you know? I don't. Okay, here's the real reason. Other than, yes, it'll hold your scissors. When you close the cutter. Oh, it just magnets. That shuts. magnet. Gotcha. Okay, and then just put it like this. It's a great cutter. Order it today, get you one. And tell us, because we're going to cheer for you. <laughs> okay, once you buy it. Okay, and now look here, I got to do my other side. Okay, don't forget today we're giving away our coffee and tea medley die. This is a limited edition die. Christina, what does that mean? That means that it's going to be gone soon. We yes, only have it for a few months. Yes. And so you want to get it what, before it's gone. Um, what was the other limited edition die we released? The dinosaur medley. Dinosaurs. They're so cute. Um, the great thing about the dinosaur die is that it comes with three dinosaurs and an eye. To cut out the eye. A little eyeball. A little, little eyeball right there. Gosh, could you imagine cutting that one by hand? No. <laughs> I just wouldn't, right? I would just not do that. Okay, so look how I'm doing this. Okay, and we're just, we're just going so fast. Look how fun this is. I really like this block. This is, this is kind of my go-to block. All right. And everything lines up because we have dog ears cut off. No puppies were involved in our dog ears being cut off. <laughs> that sweet boy. All right, are people having fun, fond memories? There's a lot of comments saying people didn't know there was a magnet in the Go Big. Yes. So that's fun. Yes. I love it when I teach you things. I know. There um, is. Let's see. And uh, now you know why. <laughs> yes. Dottie says, um, sometimes I stopped by my grandmother's and we would have tea and cookies. She had a special cup just for me. Oh, I need to have a special cup for Oaks. That's a great idea. I love that. Okay. All right, so now I have my center blocks, okay? So now we're gonna do some more cutting and sewing because we, we cut fabric, that's what we do here. So next I'm gonna cut my um, upholstery fabric. I gotta make sure I do this right. Whew. Yes, I am, okay. Okay, so six and five. This is gonna be quarter square triangles, which is on our big die right here. There we go, Miss Chelsea. And it has um, 
blades in the center. All right, so remember quilters, those blades never need sharpening. What's gonna need to be replaced are your cutting mats. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna get thousands of cuts out of those dies, hundreds of cuts out of your mat. How do you know when it's time to replace your mat, Christina? Oh, when it stops cutting cleanly. When it stops cutting cleanly, yeah. Okay, now normally I can cut six layers, but this upholstery fabric, it's a little bit bigger, it's thicker. So I'm just gonna do two, which is perfect because it's all I need. Okay, here we go. Um, there's a great question from Bia. Okay. She says, is there any maintenance required on the cutter? Nope. nope. You might just want to take like a rag and dust it down every once in a while or a little bit of candy. Yes. I'll do. Okay. I'm going to show you another trick. I don't want to burn my hand. <laughs> okay. Right here, there's dust. Yeah. Okay. But watch. So if you throw your little scraps in here like this. Here, I'm gonna make some scraps. <laughs> There's words I don't often say. I'm gonna make some scraps, watch. Oh, it just falls right through? Yeah, and then you can just collect them. That's handy. Okay, what did you learn in AccuQuote Live today? That's gonna to be our <laughs> question next week. Okay, so give it some love. Why do we give it love, Christina? Oh, because it's so staticky. It is so staticky in here today. Pretty soon it's gonna be so humid we're gonna cry. But today it's just staticky. All right, so there's those perfect quarter square triangles. And did you love this fabric? Yes, I thought it was so pretty. so pretty. Okay, so my square's on point. Okay, so now I'm just gonna make sure I have them going the right way. <laughs> I always lay my blocks out, do you, Christina? Oh yeah. How come? Because then I'm so much less likely to mess it up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, when I was at the retreat, I had to do math in my head, and finally I just wrote it down because <laughs> holy smokes. All right, so people are there having fun, memories of their family. Oh, yes, there's so many. It's so heartwarming to read all these. If you I need, love it. If you need a good evening activity, go back and read these comments because oh, they're so fun. So do you know that I read, I watch it back every mm -hmm. day, every Wednesday. Um, when I'm done, I go home and, because did you know that all of our videos live on our Facebook and YouTube yes. channels? So you can go back and watch them. So like if you missed last week, you can go back and watch it. Um, so I watch them and I take notes and I read all the sweet comments that people write, it's just great. Okay, so now here's shape number four, all right, which are quarter square triangles. So I'm gonna do the same thing, all right. So Christina. Yes. Um, do you have other fun memories of your grandmothers? Oh gosh, um, my so my mother's mom, my grandmother used to collect salt and pepper shakers, like ceramic salt and pepper oh, shakers. Uh -huh. And there are she just passed away in March too, but there, oh my gosh, there are so many at her house. Yes, like they just take up her entire porch. Like she's got like a screen-in oh, porch, and there's just yeah. like these giant industrial shelves just full of them. <laughs> and I very much remember these two little um, dachshund dog salt and pepper shakers oh, that like fun. touch noses. <laughs> I would also always go over to her house when I was like homesick in elementary school and she would just feed me hamburgers and Mountain Dew. Oh, that's... Which, I don't know how much sense that makes for a sick child, but... Yeah, no, I think that's great. My grandmothers all live far away from me, mm -hmm. um, so I didn't get to see them very often. But my, my one grandma, my grandma Norma, she lived in um, California. And uh, we went to visit her one year and... Um, and I was super excited because she had a swimming pool in the backyard. Oh. And it wasn't an in-ground swimming pool. It was like an above-ground swimming mm -hmm. pool. And I was so excited to go swimming. She decided that year she was going to raise catfish. In the pool? In the pool. Oh, dear. There was so much <laughs> weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth with the Walker children. Because oh my that's why we came was to swim in Grandma's pool. Why was she raising catfish? I, Christina, I got nothing. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's like Chicken Brian. I don't know. His chickens were rat loud yesterday. Oh, man. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They're like in spring, I guess. And every time Mason is asleep and the chickens wake him up, he says, the first words out of his mouth are, we are going to get a pet fox. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, did the chickens get you up? So. Chicken Brian knows about him. We do. He does. Chicken Brian he does. knows. And he knows we call him Chicken Brian. <laughs> Yeah, and he's totally down for that because our neighbor, the other neighbor is Brian as well. Okay, so look, I've added shape number four. 
Okay, how am I gonna press it? I'm gonna press to the outside. Oh, Marion says that she just or just this minute ordered a go big, right? Yay! Now. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, she's, make stuff with it. Yeah, she says right now she has the go and she's loved it so far. So excellent. You're gonna love the go big. Get even it more. out of the box. Take a picture of you getting it out of the box and sewing stuff with it or cutting stuff with it. We love it. Okay. All right, so look how I'm doing. I'm just pressing to the outside, just like here. All right. All right, and I'm just gonna add, and look how perfect it is because we cut off the dog ears. I mean, that's the part that's the best, is that you don't have to think, ooh, I gotta fudge the seam allowance, right? All right. Christina, what dyes are you excited about to get? Do you have oh. some favorites recently? Mm, that's hard. Um, I love the Starry Path. Yes. That one's one of my favorites. I just love like the starburst mm -hmm. in there. Um, that one's one of my favorites. I Morning love Star. Yes. You should totally be getting Morning Star today, folks. Or like the pineapple. Oh, pineapple is a really great dye. That's another one you can just chain piece for days. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I'm giving you suggestions of the two dyes you want to get so that today you can get them all at 25% off. Your whole big cart. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Go. And don't forget, quilters, our offices are closed Friday yep. um, in honor of uh, Good Friday. So that means like our customer service is closed, our warehouse is closed. So if you want to order, order today. Then we can ship it to you. Okay. We are having those people that we love for Easter. Those people. Um, Oaks and Taylor and those people. <laughs> um, they're coming over tonight to color Easter eggs. Oh, there you go. Because that's one of our Easter traditions. I think it was the picture last week, right? We did that on Sunday with Tim's mom. Did you? Mm -hmm. uh, Mason is leaving to go to L.A. for a month tomorrow. Oh. I know. He's going to go sh film movies, and then while he's there, he's going to star in a feature there film. There you go. I know. Busy. He's living his best life. I will miss him. He will not miss me. <laughs> yes, he he will. might when it's dinner time. Might He'll still miss call me, you all the time. <laughs> the rest of the time. No, he will miss me. I was to, um, for those of you just watching today, my son Mason is this amazing videographer and photographer and actor and stuff. And when he wins an Academy Award, the first words out of his mouth are, I'd like to thank my mom. Well, as yeah. it should be. As it should be. Okay, <laughs> so see how I'm just chain piecing these? I'm just adding shape number four. Okay, we're almost done, okay? And Christina, read some more memories, I'm loving this. Ooh, before that, Erica commented. Hi, lovely Erica. She says, we colored our eggs using Cool Whip. What? What? <laughs> How is that possible? I don't know. We gotta Google that, because maybe <laughs> we'll do that tonight. I saw that you could use like tissue paper and it gives it like a marbled effect. Yes. Which I thought was fun, but. Cool Whip? I don't know. Oh, now I'm, now I'm intrigued. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Okay. All right, here we go. So see how fast you can just sew these blocks together. All right, hey, did you know that we have a blog? Yes. Yeah, tell us about our blog, Christina. I love our blog. There's all these beautiful articles about like different patterns, different like tips and tricks. Erica writes the best blogs. I love she them. She does. She writes amazing blogs. Our go-getters write stuff on there too where there's new like patterns that are only available there, things like that. And we learned that just like two weeks ago that there are <laughs> only, there are patterns only available from our blog. Yeah. I thought they were everywhere, but no, they're just on our blog. I think it's so fun. Ooh, there's a good question from Lisa. Hi, Lisa. She says, what do you think is the big, thickest fabric you can cut using the Go Big? I have cut leather. Leather? Yeah, I okay. have cut leather, okay? I'd say felt's pretty thick, too. Yes. It's a little wooly, too. Mm -hmm. Wool, you can cut wool. Wool. But definitely start <laughs> How with... How do you spell that word, Christina? W-O-O-L. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, Christina <laughs> misspelled that this morning. It was kind of funny. It's all right. We're all a little tired. It's been a couple of busy days here. I feel like those short weeks, too, are always a little hectic in your brain, too. Right. You have one less day. Right. Yeah. Um, I think on Good Friday, listen to how exciting my life is. Uh, I think I'm cleaning the garage. There you go. 
I know. You could come over and help if you wanted. Okay. Mm. I'm, okay. I'm just giving that. I'm just giving that little I've invitation. I've got to make dessert for Easter, so I'm. Oh, there you go. I'm busy. Okay, so the last shape I'm going to cut are half square triangles, and I need eight of them. So I'm going to do four layers of fabric. Again, lengthwise green through that cutter, boy. All right, here we go. Are you busy on Friday? You can't come help me clean my garage. Nope, I'm busy. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm I just saying. Make, I have to make that pretzel salad dessert for Easter. Oh, I love that. The strawberry pretzel salad. I it's love the that. Best. Oh, I should make that. Tim's aunt said she needed something with Jello, so I was like, I got oh, it. Oh, there you go. Okay, so now I've cut <laughs> half square triangles. Okay, and I'm going to show you this. Look at how pretty our block is. Okay. Oh. See the static. Okay, here I'm going to teach you a trick. I feel like I've taught you a couple of tricks. This, year, this day, this year. Well, maybe this year too. Okay. So to make a square and a square block, Chelsea, I'll hold it up for you. Can you get it all? Okay. To make this square and a square block, you're going to have shape six, which is square and point, five, which are half square triangles, four, and three. Six, five, four, three. Okay. That's how you're going to do it. All right. So then you're going to sew those half square triangles together and then your blocks are going to finish and look like this. Hold on right here. Look how fun. Okay. All right. So now let's cut some uh, uh, tea cups. Tea cups. All right. Hold on here. Uh. Oh my gosh. Dawn says that... <laughs> This is very off subject, but she says Dolly Parton has a candle out that is strawberry pretzel dessert like smell. Seriously. I think I need that. I think you need that to burn all <laughs> One, spring it's Dolly long. Parton. <laughs> Two, it's strawberry pretzel dessert, so I'm happy. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so here's our coffee and tea medley, okay? Um, it has five shapes. It has the to-go cup and the lid and the sleeve and the teacup and the saucer, okay? Before we cut some, don't forget to join us on Tuesday, April 6th at 12 noon Central Time for our next live event. We're going to launch our newest online exclusive die. It's going to be part of our Die to Try program and only available for a limited time. The registration link is in the comment section. Christina, why do yes. they want to register? So that you are registered to win our giveaways. When we're going to give away dyes and fabric and cool stuff. Um, starting next, uh, starting in April, we're going to have weekly Tuesday invitation events, Wednesday AccuQuote Live family events, okay? So you want to make sure you register for those Tuesday events because we're given amazing things are happening. It's just going to be great. Woohoo! <laughs> there we go. All right, the Go Coffee and Tea Medley die is on a 6x12 die board, so it's going to fit through all of our cutters, including our Go Me. All right, so I have pre-fused some fabric. I'm pretty sure I did. I did. I can hear it. Ooh, Joyce so. makes a good comment. She says you can put a picture in the center of that block. You could put a picture in the center of that block. That would be great. That's a great idea. Okay. And, all right, so I'm going to cut my little teacup. Here, hear the squishy noise. <laughs> all right. So what I've done, quilters, is I've already pre-fused my fabric. Okay, you have to count that fusible as a half a layer of fabric. So with my cotton, I'm going to use four layers. But with that upholstery fabric, it is so much thicker, so I'm only going to use two layers. Okay, so let's cut some uh, teacups. I'm in my little block, um, my teacup was one color, and then my saucer was another. Thank you, Miss Chelsea. Okay, Chelsea found it for me. I was looking for it. All right, once you prefuse. You don't have to worry about lengthwise green. Okay, so I'm just gonna add, I'm just gonna find this here. I think I'm gonna do this. Okay. Ooh, Brenda wants to know if I make this block with the eight inch cube, will the cup still fit? Um, the cup will hang over more than the center, mm -hmm. but you can totally make it yeah, with the eight it'll inch still, cube. You'll just have to kind of get it over the edges, but yeah. I think it'll still be cute. Yeah, it'll be darling. Okay, all right. Now, this is gonna be so cool because I only want to cut saucers and teacups. So remember, our dies are only going to cut where there's fabric and a mat. 
So I've just put fabric over the saucer and the teacup. Okay, I'm gonna run it through my cutter. I'm gonna hold it till it catches. Okay. All right, give it some love because it is so staticky in here. Okay, and ta-da, I have cut my teacup and saucer. I'll hold it up for you, Miss Chelsea. Okay, right there, look at that, ta-da. All right, so now you have lots of options to finish your applique. You can use our free embroidery download files at AccuQuilt.com. The file has three stitches, a blanket stitch, a satin stitch, a motif stitch. If you don't have an embroidery machine, no worries. You can do raw quilting, you could do a decorative stitch from your sewing machine, or all over quilting. Okay, once I have all four of my blocks sewn together, I'm gonna make this really fun table uh, topper. I'm gonna add some sashing to the edge. Then you want to add batting and a back and quilt as desired. Bind your table topper and don't forget to miter your corners. All right, now you could totally change the colorway. All right, and the applique shape she used in the center. All right, so this is what I used because it reminded me of Kitty's China. But maybe you had somebody in your family who loved flowers, right? So you could totally change the block to spring colors and then in the center, applique one of our many, many flower shapes, okay? Or maybe you wanna pay homage to a father or a grandfather. You could put denim in your block. Have you ever cut denim with our dyes? I have it's not. so slick, okay? You could do like denim or flannel. All right, and in the center, you could use our Northwoods Medley die, I think we have it up here, and or our pickup truck die, otherwise known as Pam's pickup, okay? The design possibilities are endless, so think about this. This is such a great way to just make something beautiful and have it and know that you're thinking fond memories and just those great experiences you had. I'm super excited about it. Our Promo today, it ends at midnight central time. I don't know, is it daylight time? Is it not daylight time? Oh, it's just central It's just time. midnight, okay? <laughs> now, if you buy two dyes, go dyes, cubes, or accessories, two or more, you use the code LIVE25 and you get 25% off those. Yes. So Christina, did you do some math on our pickup truck die or any yes. of those? Yes, so the pickup truck die, if you bought it along with like the Northwoods medley would be $45, both Excellent. of them would be. Yeah. So you get that 25% off and then just the rest of the dies you decide to buy. 25% off. Use that code LIVE25, L-I-V-E-2-5. All right. Thank you. All right, Christina, do we have a winner? We do. All right, do you want to announce our winner? I sure do. All right, our winner today is Carol Jean. Carol Jean, congratulations. Thanks for watching today. Christina's gonna reach out to you. We're gonna send you the coffee and tea medley die. We're excited about that. All right, be sure and join us next week on Wednesday. And I'm gonna show you some really fun projects on using the orange pill die. And I have six days to figure out how to make snowballs. Yep. I feel like I can do that, okay? Uh, so today, if you don't have the orange pill die, throw it in your cart along with the five inch strip die because we're gonna show you how to cut charm squares and use that beautiful orange peel. 25% off, live 25. All right, and on behalf of our entire team, so we have Nick and Leslie are outside. Um, Morgan is offsite. Here in the dream studio, we have Mike and Chelsea and Chelsea C, and we have Joe and my good friend Christina. I am Pam Heller reminding you that at AccuQuote we help you cut time so you can quote more. Have a great weekend. Enjoy Easter.